Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews, and in today's quick tip, I wanted to show you how I created these little um, inward curves to make, um, you know, your menus or your signposts look a little bit better, and it's all using CSS. Now, let's talk about why I did this. It's because um, I make menus online for restaurants, and I said to myself, well, instead of using a regular curve, why not use this inward curve? It looks like a menu. It looks like nice in the background. So let's go ahead and create this. So here we are. We're just using Code Pen because I, I really like Code Pen. I use I usually keep my snippets in here so that I can refer to them later. So we're going to start off with um, <clears throat> a little wrapper here. So let's just go ahead and make the wrapper. Okay. And we're going to just comment this out. Oops. That way we can keep everything nice and neat. Okay, so as we have the wrapper here, the first thing we're going to do is inside the wrapper, we're going to create a div called, uh, just to make it easy, before and after. Because what we're going to be using are pseudo um selectors in order to create what we need. So let's go ahead and make the um, the CSS work with just this. We're going to just step through this really quick. So let's start out with our padding and everything, set up everything correctly. And border, oops, sorry, box. Okay. So we got that set up and we're going to just do our body and HTML so that we can make a background, uh, a background, um, have our background be, you know, a, a little picture in the background here. Okay. So we're just going to set that all up. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have in the wrapper, We're going to put a max width of 440 pixels. And then we're going to have a background of, um, let's see, 040. And then we're going to have the padding of 10. And we're going to have a margin of 10 plus auto to make sure that it's in the center there. Okay. So that, that sets that part up. So <clears throat> in the before and after box, we're going to give it a max width of 420 that way. And, and the reason we use max width is so that we can have it be uh, responsive. So basically when I get really small, it'll, it'll get small for me. Okay, so so we're going to do a max width of 420, then we're going to do a background. We're just going to make a background of blue. Oops. Let's do, uh, let's see, RGB, so 00F. Okay, so nice background of blue. And then there's not going to be any height in it because we're going to put text inside of it. So we're going to make the position relative. And we're going to give it a few things so we can make it look nice. So we're going to give it a margin. Do auto to make it centered and a border nice fat border so that we can see what's going on. There you go. Very good. Okay. So there is our, there is our um, box. Okay. So all we're going to do right now is going to put it inside. We're going to get some dummy text inside here so that we can, we're going to make the paragraph with lorem in it. And we're going to do that about five times. 
and here we have it. And then let's give it a little bit of padding so that we can separate everything out. So here's our, oh, it looks horrible. Let's give this blue a little bit less, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit more of, uh, yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, good. So now we have that set up. So if you know, of course, our border radius, we can make it, you know, 10, 10 pixels and we get our, we all know how to do this. This is not a problem. Okay. But we wanted to do inward. So the only way that I know how to do that, that I found is to use our pseudo selectors of before and after. So we're going to do a before and then we're going to do it after. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do a before after and then we're going to do before. So what are we going to do? We're going to create a a sort of um, box and then we're going to put a curve on it. So I'll show you how that works. So let's let's first of all <clears throat> create our box. So we're going to create a box with no content in it. We're going to give it a size. So let's just do a regular size. Let's do uh, a width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels. Real simple. And we're going to position it absolutely. And we're going to make the background red. Just to We're going to make the background red. I don't know. Green. Oops. Let's make it green. And there it is. Okay. So we also, since we have it positioned absolutely, we're going to put the top at zero and the left at zero. And there we have it. There is our um, little box. Now the box is relative, is absolutely positioned. So no matter where I go, it's going to move with it. Okay. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and make a little curve out of it. So to make the curve, we're going to just do uh, border radius. And we're going to do, for example, it goes, remember, it goes, our numbers are top left, top right, and bottom right. And so it goes clockwise. So we're going to do, we want this section here. So it's going to be our third number. So we're going to do 0, 0, 100%, 0. And there we have. So you can see what, what's going to start going on here. Okay. So that's that first part. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to do, this is the before. Oop, let's go up here. This is the before. And we're going to do the same thing for after. So all we have to do is copy all this. Paste it in. Change this to after. And then change this to top right. Right? So now remember, it's this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. So we're going to have to change this to zero. And then this, keep that open. And now we have that part. Okay? So obviously, this is the beginning. And we don't want it to be this big, obviously. So we're going to change all of these. So we're going to select them all here. We're going to do shift, then control, and then we can make these smaller here. Okay, so that's a little too small. So maybe about 50. That should be okay. So that works out pretty well there. Okay, so now the problem is that how are you going to do the ones in the bottom? See, the ones in the bottom you can't do any more than one one pseudo selector for each one of these. So if I did another after here and then tried to do um, another width or something like that, it won't work because it'll just bring it down. So I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> so if I copy this, now the idea would be to go after and then after again, perhaps, and then make this bottom right but as you can see it doesn't work at all 
it does there's no way that this will move so in order to work have that work we have to do a couple of things the first thing we have to do is go back to our code here and let's fold these all up so we can see what we're doing so the first thing we're going to do is instead of before and after just the before and after here we're going to also inside the before and after we're going to make we're going to make another one inside called well we're just going to name it inside so okay so now we have inside the before and after we have another div called inside okay so now for the inside one we can do the same thing so we're going to copy these two we're going to paste them down here and we're going to call this inside we're going to call this inside okay now we can change this to bottom see we have one here bottom left and bottom right and then again we have to decide how we're going to do our curve our curve is going to be on this side on the first one here so this is the second number so we're going to delete this zero and add a zero here there we go and we're going to do the same thing here except now it's on the first number so we're going to delete all these and add three more numbers oops <laughs> with spaces there we go so now we're done no just kidding next we have to make our uh, our text be separate from this so again we're going to do a separate inside here we're going to do another div just for our content so that we can manipulate the content separately from our pseudo selectors so again we're going to do apple shift a and then we're going to create a new div we're going to wrap this um into uh let's see here let's call it menu items okay so now in our menu items we can do all kinds of things we can do padding so let's try that so menu items Let's do a padding of 20, a little bit more maybe. So again, it's shift, control, up to do by 10, or just control up to do by one. So, so that looks about right. Okay, so there we go, there we have it. It's already looking like a menu. So now what we need to do is instead of the, uh, instead of this being out here like this, we want this line to be like this. Now, if you want it to, you can go up here, take off this border, and you'll be done. I mean, if this is all you need, if this is all you're really looking for, you, you would be done. And if you wanted to create the, uh, the scroll, you just use on your menu items, your scroll, so you, you put your height here to be like, like, for example, 250 pixels. Okay. And then you do overflow auto. And now you have a nice scrolling area. So if this is all you need, we're done. It was nice seeing you. But if you wanted to see how you can make a nice border around all this, keep stay, stay tuned. So let's go ahead and make a border using this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go back and create our border over the uh, before and after here. Not red. Let's make it maroon, a little bit darker. Okay. So that's what we have. Now we're going to keep track of this number. This is 5P, PX that we want. So in our before... What we're going to do is we're going to make the same thing. We're going to make a border 
that is 5px maroon and solid and see what happens and there is our border it's actually over that square okay so we're almost there so now the only thing we have to do is move this over by negative 5 and move this over by negative 5 might help if I put pixels here there we go so now it's right over the the border here you see that right over the border so we can do the same thing here make sure we have the word pixels here and then we can just select both of these and do one two three four five and as you can see because I have no border on this one it just went on top it covered the other border and so that's what we're going to do here the border is actually the border right and then border left I'm sorry border bottom and now we have a complete see it's basically covering the border below it and we have this little cover over here so it looks really nice so let's do the same thing to the other side so <clears throat> we have I'm gonna copy these two but when instead of the border on the right we have the border on the left there we have it now as you can see we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom here so for the inside Make sure we have PX here and here. And then we're going to go ahead and do three, four, five. See, now we're over these lines here. And then we have to copy and paste this in here. And we just change what we have. So on this one here, which is the before, this one here, instead of border bottom, it's border top. And on this one here, instead of border bottom and right, it's top and left. And there you have it. So that's how you make your little inward your little inward curves on your menu and how you can give it a separate border if you'd like okay and of course you don't have to have it to be maroon you can these little corners could be separate colors so for example we can make these separate ones green And now you have the borders all green instead. And of course, if you have multiple, um, if you have multiple uh, boxes that you're going to be making, multiple menus, of course, you change this from being um, all IDs to change them to be all classes. That way, if you have multiple, you only have to do this once. But that's basically how you make this menu work. And of course, the entire thing is responsive. So if you're on the phone, obviously I would change the padding here to be a little bit different, but um, you can do anything you want to it. So that's how I make my little menus. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.